Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready for another Uragan Hunt. Ben class this time is the Great Sword, and the weapon of choice is one out of four possible upgrades to the Giant Jawblade. I'm gone back to the Diablos armor set, however this time I've gemmed out the negative sharpening skill. We're going to test the mixture of the speed sharpening, polisher, feline skill, food skill, with the negative armor skill, so I just removed that one. Anyway, weapon craft, upgrade weapons, can be upgraded the, the giant jaw blade into the wooden jaw blade. Requires bone glasses, Wraithian plates, I only have one of them, had to grind for that one a bit. Not too much. I mean, actually, you got it first, first try, yeah. And the yellow smurrows. Stats wise, compared to the base giant jaw blade is a nice increase adds green sharpness large increase in raw damage and adds a 10 points to the fence an inter interesting raw great sword it's pretty much one of the strongest yeah the red wing red wing it's the strongest the giant jaw blade oh, sorry the women jaw blade at least in raw damage has less sharpness so not too much less, but somewhat less, and doesn't have any elemental. Better than the Golden Blade, blade just because of the green sharpness. So it's a decent raw damage weapon you can get at this stage. So yes, current armor skills, speed gather, tremor, resist tremor resistance, critical eye and focus. Both the trimmer resistance and the focus should help in breaking the chin, since I can get close to the chin fast enough. As I'm resistant to the tremors. See foods. I could even go for polisher, since it's nothing else really. Nothing that I'm interested in. No, because this is the only fresh item, let's go for polisher. Which will bring it back down to three, between one and three sh uh, swipes while sharpening. So, the whole. No, keep <laughs> selecting the wrong one. The Volcano's Fury, once again. I will be trying to use the large barrel bombs. I have a couple of plus version of the bombs with me whenever it trips over. I'm not sure if I will be using the regular large bombs, but who knows. As usual, first stop, I need to go to the bug spot. At least this time I have speed together. That won't take us long. At gathering her drones, and there's one, and only one. No. Nope. If at least I could get only one per quest, that would be nice. So I'm happy with that result so far. I will have to use cool drinks since I have no heat resistance. And it's right there. No fancy rocks to mine by the looks of it. Might just... No, nothing fancy. Okay. Not what I wanted, what I wanted to think. Try to avoid hitting the head on it. Monster. It might as well try to paintball it. And two. Shame I missed. Oh, nice. That didn't bounce. I thought it would have bounced when I got the hit. I wonder why is that. Oh. 
We'll test this a bit. We'll figure out if regular hits do bounce. Well, if he's a bit more cooperative. He seems to like to bounce around a lot. Okay, I do bounce there. It did look like a chin hit strike. Oh great, a rock just spawned. I want those rush shards. Or rush weapons. At least again I speed gather. Let's uh, stop for a bit. Hey again, I wouldn't normally do this, especially in multiplayer. And this is a special case since I'm just grinding the monsters on the most part. So I might as well try to get some rust weapons to add to the arsenal that I have. It's moving away. I guess I could have waited for it to move away, but these rocks do despawn over time. Otherwise I would wait. He's gonna hit. Ah, yeah, the chin strike. Even you have, if you are below its belly, it can still hit you. You pretty much need to be past its hind legs to be safe. At least from the strike, from the Trevor, you need to be further away. So it seems that most. Whoa. I was trying to test her. Uh, other attacks. I'm guessing most of them bounce. I really need to pull off another level 3 charge if I can on its chin. Am I hitting the actual chin or am I hitting something else and that's why it's not bouncing? Regular ones do seem to bounce. Okay, that's a good opportunity. Apparently you can actually hit through its chin with the level 3 charge. I believe that's something they added from Try. As you would actually bounce back then, as far as I can remember. Stay away from those rocks, they're going to explode after all those smashes. Okay. That one didn't bounce either. Ah! Even though with focus the charge up comes out faster. Okay, can I bomb it? Did I bring large ones? I didn't, didn't I? No, not the place I wanted to put the bomb at. Accidentally placed the bomb when I was cycling through the items. And it's not even near it. Or again to hit. Hopefully, won't hit the bombs. Okay, the rocks don't seem to trigger the bombs. Uh, that's gonna trigger everything else. Well, at least I'm doing damage with the sword itself, especially the little free charges. Ah, right below it. It keeps rolling into the lava. Can't do much there. Good sharpen, I suppose. It's not that I need to, but rather than completely waste time. Right, oh, it's moving away. When it rolls that slowly, you can tell it's moving to a different area. In Russian. Now I could use the barrel bombs. And I seem to have forgotten to help classes. Oh well. Be careful when it hits. I've been brought uh, standard ones. Okay, that's good enough. And he even broke the chin. Nice. Now, let's go for the tail, which might be a bit harder to do. 
I do have the reach, it's just a matter of timing. Nice turnaround for a block. At least a quick one. And that's probably gonna. Ah, oh, it went that way, it's gonna come this way. Okay, we're off on that one. Nice. I might even. I went for a level 2 charge. And it seemed to be the right option. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, you know, pretty much I just have to focus on the town out. Gonna go for a quick draw here. Nope, that was a bit delayed. Okay, going for another quick draw. Ah, missed completely. Got trampled there. Yeah, they're getting a few nice hits, not level charges, but at least they're hitting. Oh, the tower. That was not the tower. That was a leg. I might get a trip if I'm lucky. I'm feeling confident. I believe I can get a full tail cat. As long as I don't miss that badly. Okay, another quick. Ooh, I think I'm moving too forward. After that's a spin. I'm going past the tail. How did? Okay, that should have done some damage. Okay, this is a perfect moment. This is why you need tremor resistance for the great sword. Otherwise, the tremor would of course to flinch. Or staggered. Put the weapon away and no damage. Okay, getting a bit annoyed that some of those are missing when they shouldn't. Okay, there's a break. I could have tried to block, but didn't really matter. Focus in here because I really want that tail to be cut off. Nice. Come on. And the yeah, the focus there, the combination of the tremor resistance plus the focus is just great for the other gun. Or at least to use it against it. The great sword at least. And uh, yeah, I still have the cool drink active. Oh, well, it's probably going to run off any time soon. I would rather it come over here. Woo, okay. Apparently, listen to me. Ow. Ooh, that, that was good enough to prevent me from getting hit by the actual... Ah! By the actual Uragan flame. Yes. I missed the attack as you can see earlier. Nice. I was actually thinking I could miss there. Yeah, cooling in effect one off. Let's take another cool drink. Guess I could have taken it one while I was waiting. In fact, I might want to get the redstone ready. Oh, nice. It's exhausted, so let's go for another. Oh, did I move too forward? I did get the hit in, but I'm not sure if that counted as a hit to the tail. And there's nothing we can do here, so let's sharpen. Two quick, sw quick swipes. That was nice. How some of those miss so horribly? Yeah, I need to be careful because 
I'm not sure if it's possible anymore, but the tail might end up landing inside lava, which is unreachable. Okay, let's move a bit more to the center. Oh, can I go for the reverse? That would be nice. Come on. Nice. That was a well-timed one. And might, well, might as well wrap it off the tail. No, he pushed me away. That rock dude actually pushed me away. I could supposedly mine back here since everything's broken. Why not? We have about three lava nuggets. I checked online. Lava nuggets the most common item you can get from that. In fact, it's the best source of lava nuggets from all again. Oh boy. Might as well just... Oh. Keep forgetting. Can't do anything when it's exhausted. Nice. Yeah, got flinch there. Oh. Misclick the... Roll raid button. I guess I could have gone for an attack and hoping for a flinch. Let's take the last ration and finish off this monster. Oh, no rocks come out. Oh, wait, does it stop producing rocks once you cut it off? I think I read something like that before. Oh, nice. Someone flinched it. Let's go for a double one. One more off. No, that was a perfect timing. I didn't finish it off, but I did a good job at getting it close to death by myself. By the Kayamba. Yeah, actually, Kayamba probably did it because I just knocked out. So, Kayamba got the kill. Let's carve the last piece. Oh, it's four pieces, sorry. Quest time. 35 minutes remaining. Interesting, before the 15 minute mark. Yeah, just... That's close to it. I mean, just over the 14 minutes. So yes, great source, don't really need a water elemental. It's good to have it if you want to bring it here. But a high enough raw should do the job. Oh, well, that was a nice quest. Good results. Good performance overall. Shells and scales. Even the husk, as usual, since I don't really need any more. Not, not for the time being, at least. Yeah, generic re re rewards. Nothing out of the ordinary, and not too many of them either. Let's see about this. Ah, uh, the weapons look standard. Bone lance and bone axe. Team leader plus two. Oh, I have a plus three at least, so nothing of interest. 1600 zenny at least. So, this has been the Fabled Arbuna hunting an Uragan with a great sword, weapon glass, and a weapon of choice, the weapon jaw blade. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, and good hunting.